This is Oliver Slope with Blue Line Futures coming to you from the floor of the CME here in Chicago with your livestock roundup. And we have seen the cattle complex just kind of chopping around. The fat cattle have been a little bit softer, something that uh, has been elusive for the bear camp here over the last month uh, to two months, really. We had our second consecutive lower close yesterday. This only happened one other time since marking lows on uh, September 9th. So potentially the market's getting a little bit tired up here, but Again, not to sound like a broken record, we've said that quite a few times as the market has been overbought for over a month straight now, uh, but it does look like the buyers are starting to step away. 120 is the line in the sand for if, it's, if the bulls cannot achieve a, con a conviction closeout above here, I wouldn't be surprised to see some long liquidation take us down towards 114.25 to 115. It'd be a healthy correction. It's right about where cash is as well. So a healthy pullback is very much welcomed in this market. Now on the feeder cattle side of things, uh, a little bit more constructive, I guess you could say. It's been more of a stair-stepping to a consolidation. Uh, so still probably a little bit of room to run there. For that January contract though, 146.85 is the big resistance pocket, recent highs as well as the key retracement. A failure to get out above here probably takes us back down to trend line support and a key Fibonacci retracement, which comes in a little bit closer to 143, 143.50. Now, wrapping things up with the lean hog market, it has kind of reverted back to its old ways. Very choppy. We had a limit up earlier in the week, a limit down. We started off today hot. Now we're under pressure. So there's a lot going on here. We've traded pretty much sideways, though, when you zoom out and look at things. We've traded in the 64 handle for 12 consecutive sessions. We're still pretty nervous about the bottom end breaking out or breaking down. 63.50 is the low end of the recent range. A break and close below here could take us to fill that gap from September 11th at 61.50. That would be a, an opportunity that we would look at to buy on the first test. So that's something we're looking at. That's what you should be looking at, too. This has been Oliver Slope with Blue Line Futures from the floor of the CME.